What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of This Vs That. Today, what we're doing is we are going to do a tutorial on how to write your little uh, calligraphy stuff on your video, on your splash screen, on your intro, whatever that you want to use this on. Uh, we're going to do something like this. So the first step is for you to write in whatever you want to write. So what I do is to get that nice um, handwriting that I'm doing, I'm using Procreate. Mm. This bubble, or oh, something you call boba. It's fantastic. Magic cup, shout out. Um, so in Procreate, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and do a recording. So on iOS, what you do is you would need probably iOS uh, 12 in order to have the recording feature. So what I'm doing right now is I'm recording my screen on my iPad. I'm going to hit this record button right here. What happens there? Then I open up Procreate. Now that's, that's where you're getting this video is that you're recording your iPad screen first, okay? And then in Procreate, what I'm doing is I'm creating a brand new canvas. I'm gonna uh, select that plus right there, and then I'm gonna do 4K. That gives me a 4K canvas. And then in Procreate, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna write in what I wanna write. So in my case, I'm gonna write this versus that. Uh, what I wanna do though is I'm gonna change this to black, and then I'm gonna drag it down here. So now it's giving the entire uh, screen the black background. Now I want to change it to white. Uh, then I would go into the brush library, make sure I, I select calligraphy, uh, script as my selection. So I'm good there. You can probably experiment with some of the other things um, and to play around with, but in this case, I want it to be a uh, script uh, because that's kind of the style that I'm going for. So on this, in Procreate, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write this versus that. Okay, so I'm going to write this versus that. And boom, right there. So iOS is recording my entire movement. So that's where you're getting that writing. Uh, effects from. So let's go ahead and stop that recording here. So I'm going to stop my screen recording. Now we're done with our first part. Close out Procreate. Uh, when you stop your screen recording, it should save it into photos. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the studio and I'm going to use this footage that I just captured on here, the handwriting footage, and I'm going to show you guys how to Im implement that into your video. Okay, let's go. All right guys, so here we have it. I am in Final Cut Pro. This is my choice software. You could probably use Premiere Pro as well. Um, as long as the software that you use has masking and blending, then you don't need anything else. That will work just fine. But what we're doing is we're looking at Final Cut Pro right now. If you have Final Cut Pro, that's great. This is the base video. And what I'm doing is I'm, as I'm scrubbing through uh, this iPad file that I had, remember I was recording it on the iPad uh, with me writing it. So this is the part where I'm writing out this versus that right here. So there you go, I have it. I'm just gonna grab that, drag it on top of my timeline. Same thing, if you're in Premiere, you, pro you probably want to layer it, base layer, and then whatever you're writing on top of it. What we're gonna do next is we are actually going to mask it out. So here I have a draw mask and I drop it on top there. In Premiere, you just need to find mask, mask this video out. So what I'm doing right now is I am just masking this entire thing out. So let's scrub all the way to the end, make sure I'm not cutting off anything. There you go, that looks good. So I'm not cutting off anything. 
so that's a good mask right there the next thing really simple the next thing is select this video and then go over here into blend mode and do add and there you have it now it's just doing the adding let's turn that and now I am writing above my face awesome and there you go um, as a bonus I'm going to show you guys this as well so remember when I told you guys to use black on your background and white as the text the reason why to do that is because when you're in here and you're like you know what I really don't feel like the white text today so what I'm going to do is do blend and then we'll do subtract instead of add that will turn that into black once again mind blown I don't know what it does I just know that that works that way so uh, once in a while I'll, I'll use the black text if I have like really bright background but today not today I'm going to use add so the next thing that I would do to this is I would usually blur out the background if, if it's just boring like this and then I would add music on uh, top of it so let's go ahead and do that uh, let's see I'm going to just use some kind of blur here Gaussian blur boom there you go that looks a lot better okay so after the blur um, what I usually do what I would do to this is I would add in the music I've got my usual that I use here drop that in and there you have it so let's recap drop the video on top make sure you mask it out then next thing is to use blend mode do add on blend mode that will kill all the background you might want to blur out your background just to make it pop more and then add in your music and that's it well guys it is as simple as that if you do like this episode please hit the like button down there and if you end up making something out of this please leave a link down below in the comment section let us see what you have done and if you haven't subscribed to us yet please do so we do these kind of things a lot and we're going to see you guys in the next episode have a good one bye bye